Out of all trisomies, why trisomy 21 or Down syndrome is most compatible with life? Mostly the other trisomies, uh, they usually die due to in utero, due to spontaneous abortion or even in some cases, Patau syndrome, trisomy 13 or Edward syndrome, trisomy 18, they also die very early part of their life. But as we see in uh, Down syndrome, their average lifespan is around 47 years right now. So what makes this uh, trisomy 21 so special that they survive longer compared to other trisomies? That we'll try to understand in this Insta lecture session as it has been asked that why they have prolonged life compared to other trisomies, trisomy 21. What is so special about trisomy uh, 21? To understand this, you again have to understand two different concepts and then we have to connect it together because this is a, not a uh, recall kind of con question that has been asked you have to understand few in-depth concepts in depth first thing is this that uh, having excess genetic material having one extra copy of chromosome of any chromosome that is not good for you that is the first concept that you need to understand uh, this extra chromosome is not like your extra cheese in your pizza that makes the pizza more tasty this is actually bad because uh, you know that if instead of two leg you have i give you three leg is that good for you is that make you more productive answer is no we need two legs actually to to become fully functional like a homo sapiens so similarly two copies of chromosome is expected normally that extra copy of chromosome which is provided that gives you excess genetic material which is actually not good for us this is the first concept that you should be crystal clear second thing that you need to understand that Chromosome number 21 is actually the smallest chromosome seen in the human being. That's a very big concept. Uh, we know that chromosome 1 is the larger in size and uh, usually as the number increases, the size becomes smaller. So by that logic, you'll be thinking that chromosome number 22 should be the smallest, but that is not. Initially, it was thought chromosome 22 was smallest, but later through genomic studies, we found that actually the smallest chromosome in the human beings is chromosome number 21. So chromosome number 21 uh, is the smallest chromosome. So obviously to be having less genes, less genetic material. So if that is multiplied, that is one more present, present in one more in number, they're present in three copies. So that would cause less excess genetic material compared to other chromosomes, is not it? So if you have the smallest size chromosome and that is having three copies, that would be less dangerous compared to another big chromosome which is having which is made into three copies so that is the second concept so now if you uh, connect these two concepts it's quite simple to understand that why trisomy 21 is the most compatible with life because chromosome number 21 is the smallest chromosome in the human beings and so even if it is in present in three copies even it is creating excess genetic material but that would be least uh, creating least amount of genetic material compared to other trisomies because a smaller thing if it is uh, having three copies with less number of gene that would be less dangerous for us that's the concept another also uh, important thing that you need to understand that two things matters in a chromosome not only the size of the chromosome that is smallest and also the type of gene which is present so obviously, uh, it, has, it is definitely seen that chromosome number 21 has no such type of chromosome. If that is present in excess in number, that would become uh, absolutely incompatible with life. That is another criteria, which is also you need to understand. So that is the whole concept that it is the smallest chromosome and it is creating less amount of genetic material. That's why we have Down syndrome and trisomy 21 that is most compatible with life compared to other trisomies. That's the whole idea. Thank you so much.